Hey guys, Martin Ingen here bringing another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so today I have a very special challenge run for you guys. I mean, you're obviously already going to have seen the thumbnail and the title. But yes, we are going to jump in here and no item. Red Zone Fusion Zamasu, the hardest boss in the game on Global currently. With the Android 21 team. Yes, double Android 21s. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this challenge in the first place, um, I talked about it in the tier list that I put up yesterday for the Dokkan Fest TURs. I think a lot of people underrate Android 21 just in general. Um, but one thing that we can all agree on is that she's not very good against AoEs, right? She's a unit that gets all of her defense on super. In her base, she doesn't get her dodge until she's super attacked. So she's not really made for the fusions of Masu fight. Um, you know, we've done multiple videos now. I've done streams where we've done different teams and stuff. Um, you know, <clears throat> we've seen many times rotations where she has to eat an AoE and she takes like 300k. Obviously, depending on the rotation and support, she can take less. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty general consensus, I would say, that she's not particularly great in this fight. But you know, any unit that gets defense or their defensive tech on super is not going to be good against AoEs. There are a ton of units in the game that aren't good, aren't good against AoEs as well. We can always make these excuses for units that aren't great against Amasu. However, one of the things that I have been seeing people say, because obviously we've done a bunch of different challenge runs. I've used her on a team, just the one copy uh, on like the crossover team build that we made with Rosé and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, you, she takes a lot of damage from the AoE. But then her team has the potential to bring it back with a lot of healing, a lot of other units that are very strong defensively. Um, and I've seen a lot of people online, especially on Twitter and stuff like that, essentially saying that she is quote unquote unrunnable against Fusion Zamasu. And I know that when it comes to online, social media, stuff like that, people will always use the most hyperbolic language possible. Like people will say a team is terrible or like, you know, insert swear words of your choice here, when the what they really mean is that the team isn't as good as other teams, or the team has some issues, or, you know, whatever it may be. Um, but people will always jump to the most extreme example. So, 21, not particularly great <laughs> against Fusion Tomasu, I will give you that all day, every day. But to say that she's unrunnable against him is... Uh, definitely an interesting take now of course i'm sure there will be people that watch this run and uh, you know we definitely got some good rng i think having one of the android 21s start in slot 7 is an absolutely awesome start because you don't have to worry about uh, that aoe on the first turn and then of course we go into this second turn and uh, i guess we were truly blessed by the gods of RNG because he's not actually doing an AoE on this turn, which is uh, not something that you see every day. Um, I'm very much used to seeing that AoE always in slot one. Very rare that it's not even in slot one, let alone that it's not on the turn at all. So, you know, you absolutely could make the argument that because of this turn and there being no AoE, this could be the only reason right here that we actually won. But, you know, RNG is a big part of the game, especially when you see the physical LR androids not dodging either of the attacks in slot 1, so taking a pretty solid amount of damage themselves over there. And then I toyed with who to put in slot 2, because I think with the uh, my Chi-Li being built for full dodge, and my Android 21 only being 69%, uh, Chi-Li had the highest chance to dodge. And uh, you can see there she dodges every attack except for the uh, normal after the super, which still did 100k. But she dodged the super, which is the most important thing, right? So once that was out of the way, obviously Android 21, when she gets her attacks off, uh, she's fine. I had somebody tell me, I can't actually remember now if it was on the tier list video or if it was on one of the previous ones. Um, someone in the comments on one of those videos was saying that Android 21 is terrible. In her base, she can't even tank normals against the toughest bosses, which... I mean, I guess some of these people that just want to hate on these units maybe just don't actually use them or anything before they make these kind of comments because, like, that's, you know, we can easily see in a lot of these runs that I've done, even my 21, who is 69%, uh, as I already said, can tank, will, well, will tank normal attacks from Zamasu for double-digit damage after she super-attacked. So I'm not sure where uh, people get that take from, but... 
Yeah, we had a very interesting setup here. I want to give a shout out to uh, my boy Olgator from the uh, Discord. He was trying this run on the um, stream yesterday that I did, where I was trying out some attempts to get this run done. And uh, I've not really used him a huge amount against Fusion Zamasu. I guess I probably should have been trying him out sooner, but it was actually his uh, idea to use LR Super Boo on the team, because obviously he gets a 200% leader skill from um, 21 and uh, he kind of ends up becoming like the unsung hero of this run because not only is he you know always guarding against Fusion Zamasu he manages to get a pretty good defensive setup at the start if he gets hit he obviously gets that boost so he drops some pretty big attack stats and he becomes a unit that our rotations were never really kind of set in stone during this run and he becomes a unit that can kind of float around and still do like a little bit of everything. So he does very, very well in this run and you'll get to see a very special ending for him. Um, not something we get to see very often when I use the LR Super Boo. Uh, I'm fortunate that we didn't get the additional super from the first part of his passive. We only got the additional normal attack because we would have finished off Zamasu this turn. I was very worried we were going to get onto this turn and have a slot one AoE, which we do. But because of the way we played the rotation, uh, floating off the 21 earlier on it means we don't have an android 21 on this team um, uh, on this rotation i feel like this is one of the better ways right if you're going up against fusion zamasu uh, depending on the team build um, floating off 21 i think is a good idea right because her transformation is only reliant on the turns not on like how many times she's attacked and all that kind of stuff and she's building up crit chance in her base which she loses when she transforms anyway so you're not really, it's not like a unit like we talked about in the past with Rosé, where if you float him off, um, you're potentially missing out on stacks and then he transforms into full power. Um, there's almost no reason not to float her. And then it creates this interesting situation where because Android 21, her transformation is an active skill. So because we've ended up with double Android 21s on the rotation, Honestly, even if we couldn't transform either of them this turn, it wouldn't really matter too much because now we're past the phase where he does AoEs. It's not a huge uh, disadvantage to have the 221s here. We could have played the rotation exactly like this. The one at the end would have had no links active, but they would both still have this dodge chance. They both have high defense after supering. However, it gives us this perfect opportunity here to transform one of the 21s. So now they link together and share basically every link except for big bad bosses. Obviously the untransformed one doesn't have. Uh, then we get Gamma 1 countering the super in slot one. You love to see it. Um, really, really good. Gamma 1, definitely very good on this team against Fusion Zamasu specifically. Post super attacking, he can actually tank the super reasonably well if he doesn't counter it. But slot 1, we obviously would have taken a pretty sizable chunk of damage. I think we still would have survived, but we're getting the full heal from the 21 heal, I mean, it wasn't quite a full heal from her passive, but obviously by getting that heal, getting some orbs, we basically went up to full HP. And then her getting her super attacks off here is then going to ensure that we are essentially ending the turn on full HP. So very, very good here. And also having the other 21 not transformed means that when she comes back in another couple of turns, we can transform her then. And that's essentially like a backup heal that we have that we can use. So obviously, even if we don't need the heal, I'd probably transform her on her next appearance anyway, just so we get that um, extra performance out of her, the healing on super, all that kind of stuff. But that extra heal that we know we have waiting now with the other 21 transformation um, is incredibly useful. So that's something that we can take advantage of later. I'm not sure if we actually even really lose enough HP that the uh, heal from the second one's transformation is super relevant, but... Um, funny thing is, I, I literally, I'm recording this commentary, I literally just recorded this because I recorded the attempts, obviously without recording any audio or anything, because yesterday on stream we did all five attempts and I got some of the worst RNG, like double Android 21 turn one kind of thing, twice, uh, rotations where all the slot one units were on the first turn, which I think was actually what we got here, right? We had Bulma, Super Boo and Gamma 1 all on the first turn. But fortunately, in the int phase, you can kind of rely on the LR androids, even though we saw on their very first turn, they didn't actually dodge any of the attacks in slot one. Um, 
But yeah, floating them off here because the Transform 21 is on the other turn and they are providing Android support. I was also a bit worried about Super Boo eating a Super. That is his only downside, I think, in this setup. And I guess kind of just in general. Like in this rotation, he basically just has like Fierce Battle and Legendary Power. Um, so if he gets super attacked by Physical Fusion Zamasu in the set in the middle slot there, unless he's got multiple supers off, it's probably just guaranteed death. And to be honest, even if he does get multiple supers, I think he potentially still dies anyway. But I wanted to put him in front of only the one attack. Obviously, we know how dope on RNG is sometimes. It's uh, I was definitely sweating that that slot was just going to be the super anyway, but it wasn't, so we're all good. And then we have the uh, androids in slot three, and uh, I believe they come in clutch here and dodge a super because Bulma in slot one would be able to tank a super reasonably well but these guys I mean they get extra defense on their additional super and if they dodge a normal first which they do they get a bunch of extra defense but I'm pretty sure that that super from physical fusions of Masu still kills them right so they go ahead and dodge the dodge animation comes up so late on his super it's literally like right before <laughs> the big purple fist is going to hit them so I was uh Again, sweating a little bit, but I put my faith in the androids and they came in clutch. So, 21, having transformed last turn, can use her active skill. That gives us the action break, which takes away an attack in slot 1. That could potentially have been a super. He might actually not... Oh no, of course, we have Chi Lai on the rotation, so we know he's not supering this turn. Chi Lai, definitely a scary unit to bring into this event, because she is a dodge or die unit in this kind of scenario. Although I believe... We actually do have this this end part of the fight actually is a real uh, a real clencher here because Gamma 1 doesn't get an additional so he does a fairly good amount of damage uh, 21's up to a pretty reasonable attack stat now and because we used her active skill she is now effective against all types so she's doing a little bit of extra damage than she would normally however I think on her previous turn um, she got was it the three or four supers whereas on this turn Unfortunately, we start strong and then we get a couple of additional normal attacks. So, of course, this guarantees, because she basically doesn't do any damage anyway, let alone against the physical boss, that Chi Lai is not going to kill Fusion Samasu. So, I'm sit here, I'm sat here at this point thinking, well, it all comes down to this dodge in slot 3, because if she doesn't dodge, we die. And not only does she not dodge, she takes 568k, which... I'm not really sure. I guess Gamma 1 gives extra defensive support, but I swear when we tried one of these attempts on the stream yesterday, she was taking like 800k, so I really thought we were dead. And uh, so yeah, as I said earlier, we decided to give the special finish to AGL Super Boo. I can't remember the last time I ever actually got to see his active skill in-game. Um, because it's only usable when you're below a certain amount of HP. Now, with the way the rotation was set up, I literally could have just active skilled with Bulma in slot 1, picked up all the orbs with her, and then it's pretty much impossible for her to die in slot 1, and then she kills the Masu. So, we had one on that turn guaranteed anyway, but I needed to be careful because if I used Bulma's active skill, changed the orb field, picked up all the orbs, it would have healed us to full, and then we wouldn't have been able to use Super Boo's active skill. So I thought, you know what? This man's been the GOAT, he potentially is the reason why we did it, because the attempts I tried yesterday without him on the team all ended in failure. So we decided to give him the, uh, you know, the dramatic finish, I guess, to use the fighter's terminology. Um, and yeah, get the uh, finish with the AGL Super Boo active skill. So there you go, there was some good RNG along the way, but I mean there always is in no item runs, I suppose. But yeah, the unrunnable against Fusion Zamasu, uh, Android 21 double leads team, no items versus Red Zone Fusion Zamasu. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I'm sure the uh, all the 21 haters will be letting me know how we only won because of the super exceptional RNG. But at the end of the day, a no item run is a no item run. And uh, RNG is always a thing in the game. Uh, and sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you get super unlucky with a team that's really good. Sometimes you get lucky with a team that's not so good. As I said at the beginning, she's never going to be great against AoE bosses, but there you go. We got the W. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Masked Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.